Hey guys, so I'm doing this video a little different this time. I'm doing it on my webcam just because my um, camera is charging because I just filmed a tutorial today, so it needs a little break. Um, so just, you know, the quality is uh, going to be a lot different than my other videos. Um, but yeah, this um, Mommy Monday video is going to be on the whole co-parenting thing. I know a lot of you guys um, were interested in hearing about how I do it since Liani's father and I are not together. Um, so let me tell you this. Okay, co-parenting, it's honestly as easy or as hard as you both make it. Um, we, for the most part, him and I we do it just fine. We do have our differences sometimes because keep in mind since she's, I mean, she's with me most of the time. She's with me um, during the weekend with her father um, on some weekends. Uh, but she, since she's in two different homes, we, we might parent a little differently. So that's kind of where we bump heads. Um, but for the most part, like, I'm just not the type to fight over something that I just know is not going to be, one, worth my time, two, um, if it's just, like, a temporary thing just to get it off my chest or whatever. I, my thing is I try to keep it as civil as I possibly can for the sake of the baby because I don't want her seeing me angry <clears throat> seeing me angry or seeing me yell over the phone or whatever the case is I just do not want her seeing that I don't want her to feel that I don't want her ever thinking that whatever issues her father and I have it's because of her because it's not um so I try to just keep it as cool as possible of course um as parents like we do bump heads sometimes because there just might be certain things that him and I don't agree on but it's nothing that's like serious that's really gonna make or break his relationship with the baby and one thing I definitely 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 don't do and I advise all the other moms out there not to do is to keep your baby away from their father because you might be angry at them or upset at them for something that in reality has nothing to do with your kid. Um, even if, because I, I actually, like, I do a lot of research. So, like, I read online that for moms that, like, try to keep their kids away from the father because they're, um, you know, like, not doing their part or whatever, technically that's not even legal. Um from what I read, I, I don't know, it could be different in other states or whatever, but, um, you know, so in reality, when your kids are small, they're not going to notice who buys them their sneakers or who gives them money for this. Or the, on, the, those are things that they're not even going to really pick up on until they're a little older to even understand that. So um, I wouldn't recommend that you keep your kid away from their father or vice versa because my thing is like I'm super close to my father and if you follow me on Instagram the the few times that I have posted of my dad you know how close I am to him so um I would never in a million years take that opportunity away from Liani because I don't ever want her to resent me for doing something that affected her life so much all because of my own selfish reasons um, and I, as far as like him and I, we kind of just like, she has like her two homes, you know, so she has her things over here at my house and then she has her stuff over there with him. Now, of course, as a mom, naturally, I like to pack her bag with all the things that she needs, even though her father most likely has it, but still, like, as a mom, I, you just don't feel, like, like I guess, secure without sending your baby off with their essential things. Um, so that's pretty much, like, how I am with it. Um, and like I said, like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Yes, we do have our really bad moments 
that him and I argue. But we don't really argue often, though. So when we do argue, it's just like, it's it's just like petty stuff. But um, it's not like, oh my God, him and I fight all the time. We don't have that kind of relationship with each other. We do try to keep it cordial for the sake of the baby, you know? Like, I don't want her ever feeling like she's being, like, pulled two different ways and she has to choose between one or the other because she doesn't. And that's definitely something that you don't ever want your kids to feel um, because as they get older, you'll notice they'll probably start to pull away from you or the father or whoever just because they just don't know whose side to be on they might get depressed because they feel like they have to choose between one parent or the other and you don't want your kids feeling that way you definitely um don't want to give off that type of vibe to your children um and listen even if you and the father want to each other because you guys could just like never get along just don't ever show that to your kids in your kids world make it seem like you and him are like I'm not going to say like the best of friends because that's knowing the history that you and that guy have. It's weird, but still just make the kid feel like they could have mommy and daddy at a school event and not have to worry about the both of them like fighting in front of everybody. Um, that's just like pretty much how I handle co-parenting. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope this video kind of helps some of you guys that are in the same situation as I am in or as I'm in, or I am in, whatever. Um, yeah, but thanks you guys for tuning in like always. Um, if you have any tips on what you would like to see my next video to be on on this Mommy Monday, just let me know. I'm actually posting my videos earlier than I normally would because I'm going to be out of town for three weeks, so I won't be able to film. So I'm just trying to get that out the way before I leave. So, um, I don't have any makeup on. This, I think it's like my first like fully bare face video. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I really hope that this helped some of you parents out there. Um, so yeah, don't forget to comment, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and just stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys.